So I'm going to show you guys today um, what's inside of the Fi app. Um, Fi is a dog tracking collar and we are just about to head into Fi Discover. This is kind of like the Instagram cross Facebook aspect of this. It gives you a nice um, community feel. And as you can see here, Sadie's a cutie, so we'll just drop a like on her. Um, so you can kind of get to see the dogs in the area and if people want to put pictures of their dogs up they can and um, something I do occasionally um, so beyond that we also have the activity tracker which is what a lot of people really use this for this is really important I think as a trainer um, because you can kind of see exactly what's going on so you can change their daily step goals you can make sure that they are hitting targets it's really easy to change too you can see the plus minus there at the 10,000 um lucy typically gets way more than that but we don't tinker with it to be honest um and then you can go in and you can go see their ranks so that's under the the, the star emblem there on the bottom menu um and you can slide it i don't think the sliders loaded properly <laughs> when i was in the app but um you can switch it between um the top ranks and where your dog is so you can kind of see that there's a, a really nice little group of them all around the same point that Lucy is there um, and you can see that she's also ranked as the top four percent of dogs on fire which is pretty impressive I think um, which compared to um, Hunter there is absolutely nothing but um, there's been a bit of a glitch on fire where sometimes it will pick up car rides as opposed to steps so I'm not necessarily sure Hunter's score is entirely true because that's a ludicrous amount of steps and I know how much exercise Lucy gets let alone um, let alone what poor Hunter's getting there um, so yeah that's the overall rank and um, you can see there that Lucy's like nowhere near what Hunter is bless him um, but there's also breed rank. Breed rank is the next tab over and it's it's really pretty clever. Um, so Lucy is a blue tick coonhound. Um, she is <laughs> technically she's a cross between a red bone coonhound and a red tick coonhound but they don't have red tick coonhound. Um, so we settled to put one in blue tick and one in red bone. And that way I could be nosy in both categories. Um, so you can see here that Lucy's actually ranked number seven of all the blue tick coonhounds in the United States. Pretty cool. Um, and then if we go across again, you can see that you can see her ranking for Maryland, which is the state we live in. Um, and it, it's pretty neat, I think. I mean, look, you can see all these other puppies in, in the state that are doing really well. Um, so Lucy's actually 63rd in the state, you can see that there on the top right hand corner. Um, and again if we go back to the activity tracker, um, or into this area, you can sort of see where this is all coming from. So this comes from the monthly data, um, and it will give you a really nice idea of what's going on. You can see here that the variation of what Lucy does month by month. We got the device in September, uh, December, sorry. and. Um, you can see that she's really sort of stepped up her game as it were no pun intended and then there was a couple of months there a million steps um just really cool um she did she did a really good can you tell that they were nice weather months um because the cold weather months there like in february as you see in a minute ago um there weren't many steps because we had a lot of snow and she's not necessarily the biggest fan of snow but yeah if we hop back to um this this screen you can kind of see like her day to day and how they compare um it's it's really useful but the bit that i really love is this it's this is the sleep page sleep page is um really really informative so this is my genuine favorite feature and it's only just been added into the fire series 2 collars sadly the series 1 don't get this information but it's really, really worthwhile to get the Series 2 for this information because you can really get a lovely insight into what's going on with your dog, um, their emotions and why they're perhaps getting a little bit antsy some days. So you can see they're like on Saturday, Lucy didn't get much sleep overnight. She had um, a real deficiency. She was down to uh, about 12 hours, is it? And she should be getting about 16 as a full grown dog, somewhere between 14 and 16. So that means she's missed at least two hours of sleep. Um, so 
which explained her cranky mood on Sunday. Um, so this is Shelby's profile. Um, Shelby is uh, Lucy's full sister, believe it or not. And um, you can see there that we had a couple of pictures of Shelby. Um, this menu here on the side is not something that I really use that often. Um, it's got like the collar information and you can program your safe zones in there and as you can see that you can put in new users which was myself and my husband on that part um, but yeah all in all the app is really really clever um, then you've got the the live aspect which you can kind of see here has got like um, the, the, the kind of live feed of what's going on um, so you can see that Shelby's got a 221 day streak of meeting her step goal, which is great. I love those step goals, especially if you've got a dog that's attempting to, or you're trying to help lose some weight. Um, and then you can see there again that like, um, it gives me like monthly updates as to where each dog's ranked, uh, for breed and versus all five dogs. Um, and yeah, I mean, it doesn't give you a huge amount of information every day, which is great. So it doesn't bombard your phone with, um, notifications which I particularly like um, but yeah so that's that's the main thing and then you've got this little menu here which is like your um, alerts and inbox um, it gives you some information on who's liked your uh, images if that's what's happening um, and it gives you like updates from Fi and it gives you blog posts from Fi and it kind of just I don't use the blog post personally, um, I mean it would be kind of redundant, every now and then I read the odd thing like this, this is Fi in the news, this was a piece of media they got about this husky that, um, whose life got saved by their Fi collar, apparently they tried to get, a farmer tried to shoot them I believe, and um, they mistook them for a wolf, and the, the Fi collar, the, the bullet bounced off the Fi collar, don't ask me what was going on. Um, but yeah, that's a hell of a story, huh? Um, so, yeah, and they, it shows you like new makers as well. So like you don't have to use the standard Fi collar. You can buy new ones and um, as and when Fi introduce a new maker to the to to the, the lists, they will let you know. Um, so there's collars and harnesses available currently. So that is kind of what's going on with Fi. And... I hope you like this video. You can kind of see a really nice little um, overview from that home screen. Um, again, this is just the sleep and activity that's going on, but it's really good. I really love the um, effort and time and um, structure that they've put into this because um, as a trainer, this is all information that I would I would love to have about all of my clients' dogs. Um, and it's something that you as an owner can really benefit from too. Um, so yeah, this is um, just a really quick uh, look into the Spy Series 2 collar app that is associated with the tracking collar. Um, it's a really wonderful little uh, app and I rather like it. So with that, I'm going to leave you guys to it and um, yeah, have a lovely day, evening, whatever you're up to. And uh, make sure and check out the blog post that's associated with this. It'll be on Remarkable.com and um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.